Hey, what's going on guys? Give us some credit wasn't here and today I'm going to show you how to set up simple vaults for Unturned Rocket. Now this tutorial requires MySQL, so I'm going to briefly install it. So first we're going to head over to the MySQL downloads page and download the 18.5 megabytes download. No thanks to start my download. Link will be in the description down below. And we're going to run it. Set the license terms next. And we're going to choose server only. Next. Execute. And next. Execute. And you'll start downloading the MySQL server. Click next and we're going to configure it now. So click next. The config type is just going to leave it as development machine. Click next. MySQL root password, make sure this is something unique. So we're just going to set this as high 123 for the purpose of this video. Next and click next again. Next and execute. And finish next and you're done now let's finish installing my school on Windows we're gonna head back and download the simple vaults plugin we're gonna open it and we can close out the browser now and go into our unturned server head over to our server folder in rockets and into plugins now this is a new server so dragging in the vaults plugin into the plugins folder and the libraries will be all of the ones above vaults so I'm just going to drag all six of these in okay and that should be the libraries folder now we're going to head back and start our unturned server Right, once I start, you can obviously see all the MySQL connection errors. So we're just going to shut it down. And head over back into our server folder, Rocket Plugins, and you should see a Vaults folder. Edit it with Notepad++. And now that we're in the configuration, you can see Vaults enabled. You want to set that as true. Save entire inventory, true or false. Inventory items on the safe and false, pretty self explanatory. You can go over these if you want. Total allowed vaults for each player. And the most important part is our database host, username, password, name, and port. Now, if you're running MySQL on the same computer as Unturned, for example, this tutorial it is, we're going to leave this as local host. The database username would be root. Database password would be the mask or password we, ju we just set, which was high123. And the database name is unturned. So we're going to have to create that database. Now I have just done a quick install of Hedius Girl which allows you to manage your databases and tables. So I'm going to click new session and the hostname IP is basically the local host or whatever IP of your MySQL server is, username root and the password which was hi123. Click open and you should be connected. Now since the database name is unturned you just want to create a new database called unturned. Now, if you already have the economy with MySQL setup, you don't really need to do this process. So now that we've created Unturned, we can go back in our configuration and save it now. Close it and head back to start our server. Now that the server started, you can now see that there is no MySQL connection errors anymore and Vault has successfully loaded. Now if we go back to Hedy SQL, 
and expand the unturned database, you can now see your votes. If we click on it and go to data, you can now see all the votes, ID, Steam ID, inventory, server ID, and timestamp. Now for the permissions, you just want to go into your server folder, Rocket, edit your permissions. And the permissions you will need is a vault and a vault. So I'm just going to add two templates and the permission vaults and vaults for group at default. And go to in game and type p below to reload the permissions. Now that we're in game, if I have to do slash p, you can see that I have the permissions of vault and vault. So if you do slash vaults, you can also tell that I have no vaults since I haven't saved any. So to save a vault, we're going to use the vault help. You can see vault save. So in my inventory currently, I have a maple strike, make kids, grenades, and military magazine Alice pack. So to save your entire inventory, you would do slash a vault save. And that will save all your items. And if we head over to our config here, you can see delete inventory items on save. This is set to true, so all the inventory items has just been deleted. If we to set this to false, as soon as we save a vault, my items will still remain. Now to retrieve the items again. You would just do slash vault load. And as you can see, I have loaded my vaults and all my items are back. Now if we do slash vaults again, you can see that there are no vaults available anymore. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like it help. So I was unable to demonstrate saving individual items, mostly because I wasn't able to get it to work. And hopefully that should be fixed in future updates from this plugin. And I'll see you guys next time.